so much for our communities. And such a huge shout out to Muslim ladies who in very, very difficult circumstances, there's been so much Islamophobic attacks on women because of the hijab, because we stand out, because we are noticeable. People know that we're Muslims and we really get targeted for it. So well done, everybody. And thank you to Beacon Mosque for calling us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sister Sahar and Sister Kola, for accepting the award on behalf of Sister Amina. The next category is category eight, the most impactful imam. To present the award, may I introduce Sheikh Nuru Muhammad. Sheikh Nuru Muhammad, of course. You're a very popular man, Sheikh. I have not introduced you yet. Obviously, you have a reputation. Sheikh is, of course, the winner of the most impactful Imam of 2021. He was born in Ghana. Sheikh Nuru holds a BA in Islamic philosophy and mysticism from Al Mustafa International University in Iran and an MA in Islamic studies from the Middle East Middlesex University. He is also a visiting fellow at Cambridge University. Sheikh is also a qualified civil and commercial mediator and is the chair of the Islamic Cultural and Religious Affairs Organization. Sheikh, please honor us with your presence. I know we're all getting tired, but inshallah we are here for something very good, and Allah will reward all of us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. Your voices are low. We're tired. Respond to the greetings, inshallah. You will get energized. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. الحمد لله رب العالمين الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنحتدي لولا أن هدانا الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى أهله وأصحابه الأخيار My dear brothers and sisters, it is indeed a great pleasure and honor to stand before you tonight. I'm an imam myself and I know what our Imams go through daily in their communities and organizations. The roles of our Imams evolved. It is not just about leading Salat or teaching in Madrasa. The roles of our Imams encompasses each and every segment of our communities. And we saw that during COVID-19. My mosque in Birmingham was the first mosque across the country to be converted into COVID vaccination center. And so I would like to say to all our imams, those who are here with us tonight and those who are not here, you are no doubt our unsung heroes. And I believe our Imams are trying their level best to implement that beautiful description of our beloved Prophet that he was Tabibun Dawarun Betabba. Indeed, our beloved Prophet was a medical doctor who circulated with his medication. He never waited for people to come to him, but he went to people. And I believe. Our Imams of today, they are no doubt following that beautiful teaching again of our beloved Prophet, which our Sayyidina Ali alayhi salam reported, Annasu Simfan, Imma Akhul Laka Fiddin, Aw Nadirul Laka Fil Khalq. People are of two kinds, either your brother in faith or your equals in humanity. Our Imams, 
across the country, they are implementing these. And our doors are open to all and sundry. In conclusion, I would like to say I totally agree with my dear brother Shaukat. Indeed, the mosque of our beloved prophet was a hive of activities. There were genealogists in the mosque who were advising people on how to get married. There were people advising people on how to go about their daily lives. And I personally believe faith associates, that's exactly what they are doing to bring the beauties out of our communities. Thank you so much, Brother Shaukat. Keep up the good work. And now, let me kindly invite you, let us watch the unbelievable works of our beloved Imams. Mashallah, you are all winners. Very difficult to announce the winner as an imam myself. But anyway, the winner of the British Beacon Mosque Award 2022 in the category of the most impactful imam is, guess. Can you take a guess? <laughs> Sheikh Ibrahim Isaac G. of Warsaw. My very close friend. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillahi wa kafa wa salamun ala ibadihin ladin astafa amma baad. Fawd billahi min shaitani rajim simla rahmani rahim. يرفع الله الذين آمنوا منكم والذين أوتوا العلم درجات والله بما تعملون خبير. Respected guests, brothers and sisters, normally in my Juma khutbas I'm never nervous, but today I'm really nervous, <laughs> and I really mean it. <laughs> First of all, I'm grateful to Almighty Allah Subhanahu wa Taala for granting us all the tawfiq to serve our communities. Because at the end of the day, without the tawfiq of Allah, nothing is possible. Secondly, I'd like to also say Jazakallah Khair to the organizers for hosting this event in appreciation of all the community work and all the other aspects of deen that the imams and the scholars have actually 
given the whole lives and dedicate the whole lives for. Because, mashallah, this is a celebration of the great work by all the Imams throughout the UK in these challenging times where they're all working tirelessly, selflessly for the preservation of Iman and Islam of our future generation. And that indeed is a great achievement. May Allah wa ta'ala accept. Also, Jazakallah khair to our Mashaykh, our Asatiza, our teachers, without their duas, their support, their tawajju, their attention, I will not be standing here. And none of the Imam and the scholars will be in their roles without their teachers' advice, their duas, and their support. I would just like to conclude with the advice given by our respected teachers that in order to have an impact in our communities, we need to implement three prophetic qualities in our lives. Number one is sincerity, ikhlas. Number two is to be active. And number three is to have a vision. If these three prophetic qualities we implement in our lives, then each and every individual in this hall can have a great impact in our communities. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all our efforts. Jazakallah khair. Wa'asun jazak. Jazakumullah for both sheikhs. Moving on to category number nine. This is the category for the best mosque volunteer. May I invite to the podium Sister Right Honorable Nasim Shah, most popularly known as Naz Shah, Labour MP. She is the Labour MP for Bradford West and has been a very active MP since 7th May 2015. She currently undertakes the role of Shadow Minister, the Home Office, and we wish her the very best. Sister Naz Shah. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Are you all still with us? You're not loud enough, especially that corner over there with all the sisters. I can't hear you. Do you know the North is winning tonight, aren't they? I, there's a real, real Northern spirit in here. I'm really, really honoured to be here with all of you tonight. This is my second time here for the Beacon Mosque Award. So huge congratulations to Brother Shogun and Faith Associates for achieving this milestone of getting to five years. It's also a pleasure to be here because I've seen many people that I haven't seen for a number of years and that, you know, through, throughout COVID where we haven't had chances to get here tonight. But on a personal level, I'm really grateful to be here because what I've got from today is a huge source of inspiration from each and every one of you who have been nominated you know, there was, there's lots of things I've heard this evening, and I can do a whole speech on every single thing, but I promise you I won't, because we've got two more awards left and you, you're all ready for your food. But the idea that Muslims are leading innovation, the sensory room in particular, the youth services, I love the idea of youth services, and congratulations to the table over there, for your, and the women leading the way for these awards is really inspiring for me. And it's inspiring for me because as a politician who works to highlight the issue of Islamophobia, and I have done, it's one of my brands, if you like, of fighting the cause and telling people that Muslims, we're not others. We are very British. 
There is no difference between our Muslim values, our Islamic values, and British values. We are British, we are playing our part in society, but still the newspapers attack us. There's many who continue to attack us. And what today inspires me and reminds people is of what Muslims actually bring to society. Not just for Muslims, the, the idea of what you did during COVID and helped the communities around your mosques, not just for Muslims, but fellow humans. And the lovely words that the Sheikh said, you know, if you're not our brothers and sisters in faith, you are equal in humanity. That epitomizes what it means to be a Muslim. It's an honor to be able to present an award for the volunteer of the year. We were talking about mental health earlier. I myself was a volunteer for the Samaritans for four years and mental health has increased. And I think it's important that we touch upon these things because some of the things that you're doing is breaking down those barriers and pushing against the idea of what us Muslims should be. The Muslim sisters in here, you're defying the idea of what a Muslim, whether you're an oppressed Muslim woman at home having to wear the hijab. Instead, you are out there leading. You are leaders. Each and every one of you on these seats are leaders. And that gives me the source of courage. It gives me the strength I need to continue to do the work that I'm doing, representing my constituency of Bradford West, being representing, you know, we're ambassadors of our deen. Each and every one of us as a Muslim is an ambassador for our faith. And what does that, what is that defined by? That is defined by our character. And what more is the character of he who gives for the betterment of humanity? And that is why today, giving, the, giving this award for the volunteer, these are people who are giving selflessly, selflessly for the people of their communities, be it within their mosques, be it within their streets, in their communities, and giving that without any sense of reward, but their reward comes from him and him alone. And that recognition for us as, as people here to say thank you and to say well done and to, to give them rec that recognition is a huge source of honor and pride for me. So can I, before I, we move on to the video, which shows us the four uh, amazing, amazing volunteers, and I've read each and every bio, and you'll see the video. Just let's take a minute to thank and thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all that he's given us, and just to reflect on how much inspiration, who you're sat amongst today. I am sat amongst leaders. I am sat amongst people who are in their communities making the difference. It's fine for me. People think, or politicians often think we have all the power, but we are not the power. The power is you. The power is people. When I'm defending the idea of what Muslims are, this is why I do it, because this is what Muslims are. You are the best of British. You are the best of humanity. You are the best of Muslims. So thanking you, I'm now going to move aside and let you watch the four final nominees. And congratulations to all of you who have been nominated tonight, because each and every one of you are absolutely inspiring and true winners. Jazakallah. Mm -hmm. Masajids 
are together, united with our children, with our elders, and basically we're commemorating the birth of the Prophet ﷺ. When there was darkness, he brought light. And today it's important that our kids remember this, and it's important that the community feel the passion that the Muslim community has about peace and unity and the blessings that Islam big brings to communities. I hope everyone is in the best of health and iman. Alhamdulillah, it's a great blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we have come so far with the conscription of, of the masjid. Through your donations, through your du'as and the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have conscripted the masjid so far. Please kindly note that these procedures have been put in place to ensure the safety of our Masallis. This is a drum roll bit, isn't it? And the winner of British Beacon Mosque Award 2022 in the category of a best mosque volunteer. And here comes the pause. Noor Mia of Shah Jalal Mosque, Burnley. I can't say I've prepared a speech, but I'll, my mum will be really thrilled. She's been constantly nagging me about the polls and uh, everything. So I'd like to greet everyone with the greetings of Jannah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'd like to firstly thank my parents for giving me immeasurable support through the bus projects. Rabbi rahmhuma kama rabbayani sagira. I'd like to also thank the um, panelists who voted me, uh, Brother Wasim, where are you? Brother Wasim, um, from day one, he's been talking to me, organized this event. If you see the event, Alhamdulillah, it's such a great event where we've, we're, looking at the, uh, uh, we're looking at the leaders of tomorrow. Um, so Alhamdulillah, Jazakallah for your support, and I wish everyone well. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.